Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Kafo and I hope you are doing well. In this in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at creating real-time hair um, inside Blender using the hair particles um, to generate these hair cards. So this is a nice example of what you should be expecting uh, or close to the result which we'll be achieving by the end of this tutorial. So you're going to have hair cards that look like this and you have a material preview that looks like this okay so I, some of you might be saying oh they look quite um, the haircut might look a bit too much for most game engine um, but there's a walk around with this um, you can actually decimate it even like crazy with the texture still looking nice so I'm just going to set this to like 0.1 okay so if we preview it we can see we're having um, very decimated hair and it still looks quite nice okay uh, so this is basically what we'll be trying to achieve by the end of this tutorial so let's jump right into the scene we'll be using so for this tutorial we'll be creating a basic human hair um, we'll be doing the generic like head down stuff Okay, so let's begin. So the way I like to create this, um, since we're using Blender particle hair, so it's basically the same principles um, that, that we use to create particle hair that we're using to create this. The only difference is by the end of everything, we'll convert those particle hair into hair cards. So my basic process for doing this is I'll just select that portion of the head. And the reason for this is just to create like an, a hair, hair cap mesh. That allows me to like oh, what's happening uh, that allows me to like subdivide it like crazy without like messing up this one okay so I can go in and just subdivide it so I can like paint on it with the vertex group and get really detailed hair so you can follow me um, you can follow what I'm doing with my shortcuts right here okay so let's just disable the selection for the head so we can just be able to select this one and i usually like to switch it from mesh to wire it's just nice to see it makes it cleaner okay so for the next process selecting everything i'll just apply the rotation and scale and of course center the origin to geometry and go into the particles edit and we'll just create a new hair particle system that looks like this Okay, um, so for the next process, um, we'll just turn this off. So since we'll be creating like a real realistic hair, we need to like um, go by the book. So just bring this up and let's create one section. So we'll just paint one section. and remove this so this is just going to be like a rough walk okay okay so we have one vertex group now and so we just want to go in the patch, um, particles um, settings and go down to vertex group and select this group we created so we set the length to one okay and go to the source and uncheck random order and increase the face particles I, it tends to be, um, generate more particles than usual and then we can actually reduce this to like um, a lower value like 500 or even more let's do like 300 okay so now um, basically uh, what we'll do now is just to groom it so selecting it, we'll go into the particle edit, grab the comb brush, and just groom it downwards. Like you would just groom any um, normal hair. So we might need um, some subdivision um, here so we can add like more details to the root. So I'll just select the sections, go to particles, and subdivide. 
so the reason for that is so that i can get like um nice details there and that's not coming up because i need to increase this so i want to be able to like create a nice definition around this area it's just personal stuff okay so let's say we're happy with this and we want to proceed um for the next process we'll just go to um render oh sorry we'll go to viewport click on increase the steps to like three we don't want to go crazy because of course we are trying to create a game here so this to bound so looks like this and we want to turn on the children um select interpolation that's basically the reason i added um, weight group so that i can use the interpolation um, because this tends to fix all those patchy spots um, which you want to avoid with game hair so because you want to be able to cover a um, lot of uh, spots without add, needing to add or move around to more geometry so using the interpolation usually fixes that so i'm going to reduce the number to like two uh, because the only, the only reason we need is just to even out the distribution and yeah so even one so we can see the difference between them it might not be so obvious since we have low number you know i'll just let leave it at three and we can proceed and what we want to do is select this and let's apply this again and we can hide the hair cap okay so now what we want to basically do is selecting the hair we want to go to object and convert curve and this process will go to geometry and just look for the extrude and we extrude it outwards so you, depending on this amount of particles you have usually if you have less particles you want to extrude it quite a lot so that you will have like much coverage for the, when you apply the texture so that it will look full so i think this is okay for now we can tweak it as we go along so selecting it we want to go to into the vertex or the edit mode and we'll just click on this button so we are not distracted by all the vertices and we can hit Control T to tilt. So it's just going to tilt the hair. This needs like some uh, experimentation and experimentation and like playing with because most of the times you cannot just do it for one position. Uh, you need to like go to several spots and make sure everything is facing or being tilted at the right position. Usually using the proportional edit helps. You can just select one um haircut and hit ctrl t and because of the proportional edit it is also going to tilt the hairs close to it like this okay so you want to just make sure they are all facing a nice position so once you have it facing a nice way um you can convert it to a mesh and just smooth it out so you need to have like a texture that you want a texture that you want to apply to the hair basically and there are several ways you could get this so you could get this through google um there are a lot of nice images there or you can actually create it in blender um, which is quite straightforward um but the one i'm using is one i got of google so it looks like it looks something like this oh this is it not look <laughs> anyway so if you select all this hair and go into the uv if you switch the editor type to UV, you can see they all have one UV. Um, UV, um, or they're already unwrapped and it's nicely packed that we can just control all the head um, all at once. So let's create a quick material um, for this. Just open this, switch this to my node editor. Okay, and for the material, let's just go down now and go to the view port and switch the settings um the blending mode to alpha hash this allows us to pre um, preview like transparent hair inside the viewport nicely and yeah so that's that and what we want to do is go into the node editor bring up the texture that we got or the one you created in blender and let's start playing with it so we'll just set this to base color for now let's set this to texture so basically what you want to do is find a nice place um just rotate it around till you find it till it looks 
um, like you want it to look like. So I think is getting there. So you want to be able to make sure you want to make sure that um, your it's rotated nicely because um, the rot is quite different from the tip. So you want to be aware of that. So you can play with different hairs. You can scale it and get results. So let's just do the one which uh, which we want. So I'm just going to select um, this. Let's do this one. Scale it up slightly. Okay, so it's working. Um, if we bring out dark transparency, we can even see it more. So I'm going to just switch to material preview. Set for this color, which is black and white, we can use it as alpha. So we set it as alpha, and we can start seeing the hair in the viewport. And I can make this like a dark color. Okay. So for the hair color, we can just set it to black, which we could texture later. All we just need to do now is just um, get the hair looking, the hair textures looking right. So we'll just add the color ramp and play with the values. So as you can see, we already we already have like the. the real time here right in the viewport as you can see so you can play with several things you could add like a color mix set this as factor and just random color so you can also play with this alpha and if you're Try to export it to like a game engine. Um, what you could do is actually bake this out since you're sure of the intensity, and that works too. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I would have loved to do the other side, but it's just basically the same thing. Um, what I would usually do is just use the same vertex group for this one and like select everything and remove everything and then paint on it again and I'll also be working with the same hair system I'll um, just be applying it to several positions of the hair so that's basically my workflow for creating real-time hair I, I know it's, this tutorial is a bit wonky um, it's quite late so quite sleepy already so I just wanted to put it out for you guys so as I, I said earlier, most of the times the geometry might seem a bit dense, especially if you're trying to do mobile games. Um, a walk around that is use the decimate tool and just reduce the poly count. And you can always um, like isolate certain areas. So we do that. Um, And just decimate um, the part and leave certain areas so basically um, that's the workflow for creating this if you have any questions leave it in the comment and you can experiment and share it with me I'm on Twitter I'll leave my Twitter link in the description so you can check that out and tag me in your post if you have any nice result using this process so thank you for watching bye bye for announcing you next time